Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Venus conjunct Saturn in a natal horoscope. People with this aspect often admire integrity and honesty in a romantic partner. There may be reluctance in showing their loving amorous side to others. There may be inhibitions regarding displaying affections publicly. They may come across as undemonstrative and detached. Venus conjunct Saturn may be attracted to older people or people that are mature beyond their years. Romantic relationships may be taken very seriously. There may be an interest in artistic endeavors, politics, or mathematics. People with this aspect may feel they do or did not receive much compassion or love in their life. At times they may be melancholy and dejected. The attitude toward romantic relationships may be very disciplined. The person may find their significant other late in life. There may be apprehensions associated with finding their true love. Some people with this aspect may stay in a relationship for financial stability and monetary reasons. People with this aspect may prefer sustained relationships over superficial ones. The approach to relationships may be prudent and methodical. They may need to expand their beliefs in connection with money and values. Some famous people with this aspect include actress Julianne Moore, singer-songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, Ian Scott Anderson, renowned self-proclaimed psychic Edgar Cayce, actor, television producer, rapper Mark Wahlberg, president and CEO of Yahoo, Marissa Mayer. Well, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Venus conjunct Saturn in a natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time where I will be dissertating and talking about Venus sextile or trine Saturn in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.